A tremendous performance down here under terrible conditions. What was your message to the lads before you went out? Well, we only had one message. Um, we have gone to Rotherham. We ran our guts out to get to the next round, to be able to have a chance, if we go past the following round, this is Halifax, to get one of the big ones. Now, we've done exactly that. So all I said to the lads is, look lads, OK, we are playing against Premier, but uh, they've got two legs, they've got two arms, two eyes, two one nose, etc., etc. I said all the things as well, and they would be laughing their heads off when they listened to me. And, uh, and at the end of the day, if we just believe in our own ability, if we believe in our systems, and if we can just go out there with no fear, anything can happen. But the four reasons, the four aims were to win, great bonus, to draw, get back to Loftus Road, great honour, to lose, but give him a game, we wouldn't be this grace. But one thing we would not accept is to do what Halifax did when he came to us, as David and Goliath. We were the Goliath at the time. And if he didn't take the game as serious as we took it against Halifax, probably Halifax would have been playing QPR. Now, they have realised that, and they got the number one aim. Unbelievable, and I'd like to congratulate the lads, thank the lads. I mean, I've done it in the changing room. I thought they were magnificent. And uh, the only problem they got now is to keep this kind of standard. We started at Brentford. Well, we started against Barnet here, when everybody said, oh, you already lost this. We only got so many points after that. We're not here for records. We are here to just keep dealing with domestic problems that nobody knows. Everybody's different. We've got 20, 22 professionals, and a lot of things happen. And at some stage, we get problems. And then these problems could influence on the performance of the team. But to be fair, we grin our teeth and, uh, and we clench our fist and we say, right, we got the pride. All right, we got a small house, a small house, but we got a big bloody hard, I tell you. And uh, while the lads keep doing that, what they've done today, we can only be proud. Um, can I ask you what Jerry Francis said to you after the game, Danny? Well done. And good luck to him. I mean, he, he can't have any complaints. The pitch, you say they were shocking conditions. I thought the game should have never been played at quarter to 12. You might listen to BBC tonight. They've done a big piece, and oh, it's coming from digs, coming over, and all that. And uh, I honestly thought the pitch was treacherous at quarter to 12. But good luck to John Keyes. I put my hands up when I'm wrong. And I don't know if he's got any friends in the meteorological, meteorological uh, uh, office, but he might have known somewhere along the line that the blooming pitch is going to bloom in the, uh, uh, um, get um, uh, the soften. It was a cracking tie, mm. and I thought we were the better side all round. And I'm not bragging about it, because, no. um, yeah. Well, I, I tried to remain uh, unbiased on the, on the video, but I couldn't do because we were. Now, just the first goal, I suppose it, it'll create a lot of talking points tonight when people see it on TV. Well, it will, because <laughs> they keep talking about Kevin being a this, that and the other, donkey here and donkey there. Kevin is, is, is a good footballer. I and mean in, that. And in fairness, in, you know, like he said today in the, in, in the press, if you read the Daily Press, 75% of the goal is with a feet. Now, Kevin rang his guts out, and I put Kevin into things. Say I wanted to be a mathematician, and I am not that brilliant in mathematics, and I'm putting Kevin to the most, the highest skills you can have in football. Because that's, that's what I can coach Kev. And Kevin is gradually picking him up, picking him up, picking him up. And go all credit for him. He wants to stay behind. He wants to stay with me and keep uh, uh, working on it and working on it. And today, look, I don't think Ferdinand could have done much better. Control it that way and slot it in the way he slotted it. And then when I talk about the other goal, well, 
God bless you, Prissy. <laughs> Keep doing it, son. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. And when do you think that actually? Yeah. yeah. And when do you think that the big lad's not really 100% fit either, is he? Well, he's, he's, uh, he, he is, really. But if you talk about his knee and, and this. I mean, his chest, right? Yeah, and his chest as well. He's been, uh, he's been coughing and uh, he's been having a bit of a Qatar thing. And then uh, he came at uh, midway first half and. Uh, and he was really, I thought, well, there's something definitely drastically wrong here. But uh, thank God for that, he just got up and kept going. Yeah, I love them. I mean, they, sometimes I've got to hit the blooming backsides like I do with my children, but uh, I love them. And when they play like that, I mean, it's top ball, the whole of top ball, I love them. Yeah, well, as I say, he's asking you who you want in, in the fourth round. We can say anybody can come to Isley Park and, and go and have a good game, aren't they? No, 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 I know, no. I am choosy this time. No. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be QPR and now go and play somewhere like in the plastic pitch of Preston or somewhere like that. No, I definitely would like to have Manchester United or Sheffield United and uh, or Man City, somebody like that. If possible at Edgley Park, if it's not possible anywhere. But we definitely deserve a good big cup tie now. And then that will be, you know, probably a little bit of icing on the cake on what we've done for the past five years. Yeah, the bonus, and as I say, as we look around you, the improvement on the grounds and everything, the improvement on the team, It's everything is going well for us, Danny. Yeah, I think it's going well, but, you know, I, it disappoints me when you had two or three games and people start looking for where to dig to, to stare, you know, the shit. It's as simple as that. And I've got to say in these terms, because that's the only way I can put it. Um, when you're up, everybody wants to bring you down. When you're down, everybody wants to keep you down. So never expect anything from anybody except for what you get for your own selves. But I just hope that... You just done. I just hope on match of the day tonight that BBC will give us the credit that we deserve. Well, I think uh, it's all for the whole of England to see. We are not a kicking and rush team. We play today as good as any team in the Premier. But that doesn't mean that we are going to keep continuing that. But the lads set themselves certain standards and now they've got to keep them. I think it's you who set the standard, Danny, and it's, you know, you set them at the highest level and they're now responding to it. I can set anything you like, but unless I've got the right quality people and players, and I said people and players, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. They're brilliant. Thanks very much, Danny. Cheers.